Think you're fast with a calculator? Not that fast. These five mind-blowing math tricks will turn you into a human calculator and leave your math teacher speechless. Trick 1. Multiply any two-digit number by 11. In five seconds can you quickly tell me how much is 52 times 11? Don't touch that calculator. It is 572. I know many of you would have struggled to find it in 5 seconds but I'm making a series of mental math videos, and after completing the series and with a bit of practice, you will be able to do calculations like these faster than a calculator. Yes, science! How will you multiply 53 with 11? Yeah I know we can use the method we had learned in school. But it will be a bit longer. But by using this trick it will be super easy and fast. So write 5 and 3 and in the center write 5 plus 3 or 8. That's it. The answer is 583. But you might wonder what if the sum is greater than or equal to 10, like 68 times 11. Write 6 then 8. And in the middle it will be 6 plus 8 or 14. So take 1 to the carry. And add with 6. To make it 7. So the answer is 748. It's that simple. The trick I taught you also works with three-digit number. For example, 352 times 11. Write 3 and 2. Now in the center first add 3 plus 5 to get 8. And now add 5 plus 2 or 7 here. That's it. We get 3872. And if the sum is greater than 9, then just carry like the previous one. For example, 574 times 11. So write 5 and 4 here. Then in the middle, write 5 plus 7 or 12 and here 7 plus 4 11. Now carry 1 here to make it 6. And then carry 1 here to make it 3. So the answer is 6314. Yes! Awesome! We are still Hell faster yeah! than the calculator. Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yo, Mr. White, how the hell do you square numbers like 75? It takes forever, man. Jesse, focus. This isn't street math. It's precision. Take the first part of 75. That's 7. Multiply it by the next number, 7 by 8. Wait, why? Using 8? Because it's n plus 1 Jesse. If the number ends in 5, just take the number before it. In this case, 7. So, 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Now add 25. Always 25. It's the square of 5. So 56 plus 25 is... 5,625? Goddamn right. That's 75 squared. You're the goddamn iron chef. How to multiply a number which are closer to 10 to 100 and 1,000. For example, 9 times 8. Man, this is brutal. I need a calculator for this crap. Jesse, we use the concept of base to solve multiplication problems quickly. And bases are generally powers of 10 like 10, 100, and 1,000, and so on. So for this example, its base is 10. First we subtract the base from each of these numbers, subtracting the base from the first number. We get 9 minus 10, that equals to minus 1. Next would be 8 minus 10, that's equal to minus 2. These two numbers tell us 9 is minus 1 units away from the base, and 8 is minus 2 units away from the base. On the left, we write the sum of these two numbers. So it is 9 plus, minus 2, equals 7. So we write 7 on the left. On the right, we have the product of these two numbers. It is, minus 1, times, minus 2, and that equals to 2. So 9 times 8, equal to, 72. Yo, Mr. White, this is difficult. Jesse, this method is effective when dealing with larger number. For example, 98 times 97. Both these numbers are close to 100. So the base is 100. So 98 minus 100 is minus 2. And 97 minus 100 is minus 3. On the left, find some of these two numbers. That is, 98 plus minus 3 is equal to 95. And minus 2 times minus 3 is equal to 6. So should we write 6 here? The number of digits on the right side will be equal to the number of zeros in the base. As there are two zeros in 100. There will be two digits here, so 6 will be written as 06. So the answer is 9506. 
Do you understand now? Uh, wire. Oh.